And it came from Christ, the begotten Son of our Father. Entrust your life in Him. He brings glorious heaven. Our Father will make room for you up in His architecture. We got a shepherd, so don't be lambs to the slaughter. And we got protection through tribulations. Don't be bothered. For real, though, we got that one that's honest. There's room for you in the land of my fathers. That's His promise in my Father's house. Jesus, please come and guide me. Please come and guide me. Cause you done revived me. After the church of society. Hey, 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 by your word I'm abiding Cause hey, in this world there's no hey, more church living hey, Just church surviving Hey, 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 surviving the church on a daily basis What they call grace is purely hatred I keep my mind in the heavenly places Hey, they think of the promised last And they only focus on what they fancy What they need to do is come and speak to you And read the book of Ecclesiastes Can I get an amen? I receive word from the church Someone made a promise And it came from Christ The begotten son of our fathers And trust your life in him, he brings glorious heaven. Our Father will make room for you up in his architecture. We got a shepherd, so don't be lambs to the slaughter. And we got protection through tribulations, don't be bothered. For real though, we got that one that's honest. There's room for you in the land of my fathers. That's the promise to my fathers. Hey, now, now, now I got nothing to do. Nothing because I got nothing to prove. Nothing to prove. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Swagger jack, swagger jack. If y'all could donate that sin, then I'm out. Spitting that fire from hell. And I'll doubt seeking the father, but don't be allowed. Hey, hey, stay strong in the spirit, be prowess. Cause the enemy, he just be cowardice. I know how it feels to feel powerless. I've been there before, I know how it is. Seeking the kingdom of heaven, the rest will come out of it. And speaking of which, now that I think of it, I wonder. I'm wondering just how my house is. I word from the church. Someone made a promise, made and it came from Christ, the begotten Son of our fathers. And trust your life in him, he brings glorious heaven. Our father will make room for you up in his ark. We got a shepherd, we got a dog, be lambs to the slaughter. And we got protection, we got tribulations, don't be bothered. For real though, we got that one that's honest. There's room for you in the land of my fathers. That's his promise in my father's house. Yeah, my father's house. Yeah, my father's house. Y'all know my father's house. This is my father's house. A brother is my father's house. Yeah, it's the father's house. Y'all don't know the father's house. Come on. Hey, all. How are we tonight? I hope we're all fine. I see Doctrine's here. Uh, Pastor Leroy's here. And, of course, our secretary, Kim, is here as well. I'm here. We have a special, we have a special guest tonight. That will come later. And I am excited because today what we're going to be talking about is what is your calling and what that means? Pastor Leroy, how have you been? How was your day? Doing fantastic, my friend. As always, I'm very glad to have the panel back with us. Uh, Doctor and I talked a little earlier. I'm glad he's doing well. And how you how you doing, Kim? I'm doing all right. I'm doing okay. I'm a little bit under the weather, but I'm here. I'm good. Glad to hear that. Now, we're all doing fine here. I wanted to explain to... Um, I guess to Kim and Doctrine uh, about what happened on Sunday night last week when someone came on here and said I was somebody else and all that kind of stuff. Well, that was been taken care of, and none, none of that was true. It was somebody who was trying to blackmail me, and I just want to let you know that that's all done and taken care of. So I already imagined that. I can already tell. <laughs> What's that? I already figured that out. The sermon is a very key thing about that when people start playing around, playing with games and trying to do things to blacklist folks. I already could tell with the sermon that that was a bunch of focus, focus. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. And uh, I want to say hi to Doctor real quick. Doctor, let's bring you on, brother. How you doing, man? All right, man. I'm just hyped up on Red Bull, dog. I was up till 2 o'clock in the morning in the studio last night, man. Just trying to get this collaboration I got going down. Between this album, these ciphers, and this collaboration, man, I got a lot going on. 
and I got to do these videos. My boy Eucalyptus Kid has gotten very busy. Him and his girl don't listen to uh, this show because I don't think they know this show exists, so I can say this on the air if I want to. But he's trying to work overtime to put that money together because I think he's getting ready to pop that question, man. You know, oh, he got, he did awesome. A, he done, uh, <laughs> he done uh, got permission from the father and everything. He got from me, even got permission from the mother and everything. Made a good impression on everybody. So I think he's trying to just, you know, get enough money to get a nice ring to pop that question. And I hope it goes well for him, you know. And I hope, I hope that she won't. I hope that she doesn't randomly discover this episode out of nowhere and then decide to hear this because then I just screw everything up. Sorry, <laughs> <Well, laughs> on, uh, on your defense, Doctrine, you're not saying it's definite. You're just saying this is what you think. So let's be clear. Well, I mean, hey, they've been dating for quite a while. So, you know, I hope it works out for the boy. He's still a young buck, man. Right? Yeah. Well. That's always good. So, Doctrine, um, would you please play a song, and then uh, we'll get into uh, what I want to talk about, and then uh, we'll come back, and after that, uh, we'll bring on the guest. Just to let you know, okay, so that we're clear, if you have a question for the guest, you put it in the chat. Chat will be open. However, if it's not a legitimate question, it will not be answered. So if you <laughs> want to be serious and ask a serious question to our guest host, by all means, absolutely, do that. But please, be nice. Indeed. That would be perfect timing if I had a song on here called Be Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright y'all, we're gonna play Lighthouse and we're gonna be uh we'll probably play one more after that, then we'll be right back, y'all. Stay tuned. Okay. Y'all want a mic to mic, baby. One times one. one. Let's go. Lighthouse, lighthouse, be the light. 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 Every day I gotta be a light, be a light. Let his glory shine, shine in my life. Be a light that the dark can't hide. Be a light that the lost can find. Find a way. Find a way, find a way out the storm. No matter the cost, lead them to the Father's arms. Bless others, cause you've been blessed. Seeking the kingdom and his righteousness. Let the light in you make the darkness move. Yo shine, yo shine, don't hide, no time. So bright, open their eyes. Lead them home safe so peace can rise. rise. Lighthouse, lighthouse, be the light. Lighthouse, lighthouse, be the light. Lighthouse, lighthouse, be the light. Uh huh. Lighthouse, lighthouse, be the light. 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 They say light is the brightest in darkness, fluorescent. I shine all that light on the battles I'm wrestling in. Bondage has nothing, plus carnage is bluffing. We hardly acknowledge him drinking the cup. He done paved the way for the unguided souls. And Jesus saved the day, greatest story told. When you gave your life, it paid the toll. But walking out the black and cold, Jesus don't lose sight. Each one we teach one, gotta move right. If you out the muck and mire, that's who's fight. Leave your problems at the cross, be a real example of true life. You're somebody's lighthouse Down the darkness right now Let the devil no power Another one out because you made it yourself. I never wanted it for the fame of the wealth, but I keep on saying it for your health. Yo, we put a seed on the dark, we the light, we the flame. Guess who gave us the spark? I could light up the sky, but I ain't Tony Stark. Be a guide to hand you through it all to give God your heart. Yeah, lighthouse, lighthouse, be the light. Yeah, lighthouse, lighthouse, be the light. Lighthouse, lighthouse, be the light. Lighthouse. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Many of us have no idea what that means. So we're going to look a little at that. Now, according to the Webster's Dictionary, a calling is a strong 
inter, inner impulse toward a practical course of action, especially when accomplished or accompanied by a conviction to a divine influence. That could be God, it could be your mother, your father, your life, it depends. The vocation or profession in which one customarily engages in. The characteristic cry of a female cat in heat is an example. They need something, so they call for it. Now, that's according to the Webster's Dictionary, and that's all fine in this world. But according to the International Bible Encyclopedia, the calling is something way different. In the New Testament, expresses the word is used chiefly by Paul through the idea and term are found also elsewhere. It is a definition, tactical sense, the invitation given to man by God to accept salvation in his kingdom through Jesus Christ. The invitation is given outwardly by the preaching of the gospel, inwardly by the work of the Holy Spirit, with a reference to Israel, it is the one part of God invocationably not repeated of. In other words, it's not repeated. For an example, my first calling in my life was to help the still suffering addict, which I continued to do throughout my Christian walk. My second calling on my life was to lead the masses to God. There's a cross. I can point the way. I can show you the light. I can lead you to that light. But in no way, shape, or form is there anything more as a pastor that I can do than to walk you to that cross and say, this is your salvation. A calling is a very personal thing. It's very personal for each person. Now, every person gets the same calling. Some people are called to be lawyers or doctors or nurses or teachers. That's all good. The calling that I'm talking about is the calling from God. And that's for me because that's who I am. That's what I am about. Because my first love, I love my wife with all my heart and everything in me. I love my wife. However, my wife is under no pretense. In other words, she knows that the first calling on my life is to our Father. And that takes precedence over everything. Over my life, over my job, over the way I live, over the way I talk, the way I walk, where I go, what I do, that's me. That's not everybody. <coughs> Pastor Leroy, what is your calling? Yeah, excuse me for a second, Pastor Kent. Excuse me for a second. Yeah, look. Okay. Uh, Kim, what is your calling? Uh, I was called when I was 13 years old. So actually, right now, as far as I've been told by the Lord so far, what I feel is actually being a street preacher, working with people who are going through hard times, especially when it comes to alcoholism and drugs right now. I've been focusing on working with that. That's where he's pretty much directed me so much so far. Amen. That's important because we all need people in different walks of life. Now, <coughs> Doctor, do you mind sharing what your calling is? I already know, but I want the panel to hear it. 
Oh, he must be on the back channel. Okay. <laughs> Are you talking to me or Leroy? You. Okay. Pastor Leroy, oh, what didn't... is your calling? I didn't know you was talking oh. to me, man. I, you kind of faded out. You faded out for a second. Yeah. No. What is your calling, Doctor? And I already know what it is, but please share it with the panel. It's a weird thing, man. You know, at first I thought I was supposed to be a paleontologist, so I went to school for natural sciences with, like, several minors in different natural sciences from archaeology to climatology. But as of recent, as of, like, what, two, maybe three years ago, I remember having this dream, and I felt like the Lord's presence was with me. And, uh, you know, in a nutshell, it's like, all I saw was, the, I felt the Lord's presence. All I saw was black, and I heard in my heart, you're supposed to do music. And then I woke up. That's it. And I prayed about it, and I got confirmation in my heart. That was from God. So I'm like, all right, so I'm supposed to do music. So my calling is to be a musical minister. Mm. And you know what? I already knew that, but I Absolutely. wanted the panel to yep. hear it. So did I. Mm -hmm. Because... It's important that not everybody's called to be a leader. Not everybody's called to be a public figure. Nope. So that's what a calling is all about, is what you feel you're called to do. And if it's inspired by God, great. If it's not... That's okay, too. So, we've gone in for a little bit, and I would like to bring on our special guest, New Jade. Welcome to Father's House. How are you today? I'm okay. I'm doing good. Great on. That's awesome. So, when a person is called to do something, to you, um, what is your testimony and how did you find your calling? Well, I found my calling as being an artist because I want to get a good word out to the young artists out here and the young people period and I just want to give them good insight on knowing that you you can go through a lot of struggling but there's also people out here that wants to help you do better as well absolutely Amen. absolutely like doctor because he's one of doctrine is actually somebody who helped me yes Doctrine helps a lot of people. He helped yes, he me does. today. He's, ama he's an amazing man of God, no matter what anybody yes. says. Yes, he is. Absolutely. But do you feel, it's just a question, do you feel that you're called to do more in the ministry that you're in? Yes. I actually do. Go ahead and elaborate. The floor is yours. <laughs> I mean, I, I I I just know that I know God, and I know God. If 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 God wasn't in my life, I would be in worse places. Honestly, I pray a lot. I go through a lot, but when I when I pray to God, I get out of a lot of things, which makes me know that He's there and He's listening and He's hoping for me to do way better than I actually have done in life. I'll be 39 this year, and uh, I came a long way with God, knowing that if I pray to him, he's there more than anybody ever been, so there's no other way I can go about it. Amen. I, do. I hear that so well. I really do. Mm -hmm. The doctrine says that, you made a song he mentioned to me. We'll be playing that song momentarily. How did you feel when you made your first song? Well, I was actually going through a lot at the time, but 
being that uh, how I met doctrine, you know, we met through, you know, a certain um, therapy session. And at the end of the day, since then, I've been trying to get my vocals right and get my, my lines right to say and no curse words, you know, leaving all of that out of it, you know, it was different for me, but I actually loved it. And I was able to actually send it to my mother, you know, without her thinking, oh, I don't want to hear that rip rap, but she actually heard it and she actually liked it. So that made me uplifted and made me feel like so much of a better person being that my mother can hear something that I'm not, you know, cursing or somebody send her something that I'm cursing about and saying all that. So, you know, it's better to make that kind of music for my mom actually to play in her car and listen to what I'm saying to hear some of the pain and some of the struggle I probably have went through. So I put I, it in music terms. I totally relate to that on this aspect. I don't write music, but I write a lot of poems and poetry. That's where I put my feelings down. So I can relate on that aspect very well. Why do you right. feel that you're called into the type of ministry you're called in? Well, furthermore, my mother is a Jehovah Witness. So yeah. I actually had a strict strict life of being a Christian. It's just that I didn't yeah. fall into it like she did with my grandmother. I wasn't as strict as it living that life. I wasn't living the the, the good life, I'll say, you know, to whereas I wasn't getting in trouble. I've been through a lot. You know, I lost my grandmother. I lost my mind a little bit, but for some reason, God just keep calling and, you know, telling me you need to do better, think better, don't react wrong, and just keep moving forward, you know, so you can see better things, make it to paradise. I understand that completely. On a uh, more of a broad note, how do you feel about world affairs today? Oh, that's a good one. Uh World affairs, there's so much going on, it's scary. I, I've mm -hmm. I've lived with I'll say what PTSD I can say, bipolar, you know, mm -hmm. I, I I get paranoid, you know, I can't I can't do certain things like drugs and everything because I feel like I'll have a heart attack because I worry so much. So being that I worry yep. so much it kinda scares me to be in this world and there's so much like child abduction, there's murders, there's everything going mm -hmm. on. I wish I could just say one word and it changed the whole world, but I can't, so, you know. You know, I can try. As my wife says, and as I've said many times, you have to plant that seed. I can't cultivate it. I can't make it sunshine. I can't make it rain. Mm -hmm. I can't do anything. <laughs> There's only one person in this world who can cultivate that seed, make it grow, and produce fruit. And it sure isn't me. Yes, yes. I mean, so, but I, I actually, in, in the world right now, sorry to cut you off, but in the world right now, I actually listen to music. And I have seen mm -hmm. a lot of bad music out here to where these kids are actually following what certain yeah. guys are actually saying. Oh, shoot this, shoot that. If, how can they make yeah. such a good message to have the kids following them and people like, you know, mm -hmm. us that want to get a better message out there can't even grab their attention? It's kind of scary. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's kind of weird, you know, but I just want to be able to do how they're doing, I guess. How could you be so badly out here talking and get these kids to follow and we can't, you know, in a better way? It's, 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 it's scary. Mm -hmm. It is. It is really. And as a pastor, <laughs> I feel so distraught about what's yeah. going on. I wish I could do more. Yeah, absolutely. But it's like there's not much I can do. And, I mean, it's like the old saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you yeah. can't make it drink. I mean, we can put this stuff in front of them, but unless they have a personal connection to what's going on, they're not going to relate. I get that. Yeah. We they have uh -huh. to find something that's, that's a common ground for everybody. Like here in Toronto, there's a church that has been having a revival for the last six months. People upon people upon people about thousands of drones of people <laughs> are coming to this church and getting saved and, and becoming Christ like. Mm -hmm. This world made a whole big there's a lot going on and a lot of turnarounds at this time in life. But mm -hmm. like I said, you know, I came from I came from a Christian 
Christian family. My grandmother on my dad's side was a, she went to church, but my mom's side went, was Jehovah Witnesses. So I actually grew up to learn both sides. So at the end of the day, mm -hmm. I ended up knowing that no matter what, I was a Christian or I was, I was, I've never been baptized. So I can't say I'm fully a Christian, but I knew both sides of being Christian. You know, so it's and, like, you know, you learn something over here, you learn something over here, but there's one God. And, you know, that's an important thing to say because something I've always said, people question and ponder and wonder, where's God in this? Well, I look at it this way. When the Egyptians were punishing the Israelites, and the Israelites cried out, and God rescued them from uncertainty and took them into the wilderness, they ended up going back to their old ways, worshiping idols, praying to dead things. And God said in Second Chronicles 7, verse 14, he says, If my people will humble themselves and pray, I will heal their land. So people sit there and wonder today, why is God not here? Well, for one, you're, you're blaming him. For two, you're name-calling him. And the man who created you, no matter how you look at it, if you go back in the ancestry, he's the one that created you. And while we were yet sinners, he died on the cross for us and gave his life for sinners. But he still loved us. And it was for past, present, and future he died. As it says in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. You can't make this stuff up. You just read in the Bible. So, just to correct her and, and the Father, yeah. where do you see yourself in five years? I'll be 39 this year. So, uh, in five years, hopefully, I got my feet up, sitting back and relaxing, waiting for God's return. Awesome. So, before Doctrine plays um, your song, I would like to know, um, on your song, Don't Give Up, what inspired you to write that song? Because I, uh, I came a long way, you know, with... Uh, with my father, my mother being divorced, and you know that that kind of changed my life a lot. You know, I was a basketball player, I was out there, and then I turned around and started getting in trouble after all of that. I started seeing myself fall short, and I had to, um, in order to turn my life around a little bit, I needed therapy, and um, I took therapy and everything. I was out here doing crazy things as a child, you know, as a young child, but it started to catch up to me. Like, you have to turn around one way or another. You can't assume people are going to help you or, you know, you can't assume they're going to have your back or they're even going to be there at all. So I had to learn those cases to not give up, and I didn't give up. So, you know, I kept it going to where it's, I just want to make a better life every chance I get. Amen. So, Amen. you know, it's, it's, it's a struggle. I feel that it's a struggle, but it's a struggle, but it's also a way to live life. You have to get through it. There's, there's. I, I know for a fact there's kids out here that don't have not a single piece of tennis shoe. They didn't see a piece of food today. They didn't see. They didn't see a dollar ever in their life. So I gotta look at it like I'm still blessed. You know, I have to ha I have to do better in my kids' eyes, all the young people's eyes. You know, I gotta show them something different and hope they don't go the route I went. Because, you know, it could be, I could be in different cases. I could be in worst case scenario right now. Um, I actually have a chance to save my life. And I know I have a good heart. So I know with me having a good heart, I know at the end of the day, God reads that when Judgment Day comes. So hopefully he sees that heart is still beating real big when it comes to Judgment Day. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, Doctor, would you mind playing that song, please? Yeah. New song, new Jaden, holler at them. Like a fairy tale when I was growing up, man, I had something to believe in. Now I see how cold the world can get, cause even in the summer it's freezing. And I know what it's like to not have a thing, not even have a bite to piss in. And most of the time when you cry for help, nobody's ever gonna listen. So listen, hear my words, I'm not trying to make anyone disturbed. But I'm perturbed, I don't 
don't understand why we gotta hurt so much when all we really need to do is learn some love. And each time you keep on passing me by, you show no love and you show no time. I know life's busy, the world is so busy, and feels like a hate crime. Just don't wanna help somebody, and everybody needs somebody. For the longest time, all I had was God to love for me, and there was no sun in my life, cause in the dark world, things will get ugly. If I knew back then what I do know now, then things would probably be different. But I had to learn, so you're not alone. Give me a hand, let me help you get this. Like a fairy tale when I was growing up, man, I had something to believe in. Now I see how cold the world can get, cause even in the summer it's freezing. And I know what it's like to not have a thing, not even have a box to piss in. And most of the time when you cry for help, nobody's ever gonna listen. So this like a fairy tale when I was growing up, man, I had something to believe in. Now I see how cold the world can get, cause even in the summer it's freezing. And I know what it's like to not have a thing, not even have a box to piss in. And most of the time when you cry for help, nobody's ever gonna listen. So listen. I came real from the jump, I don't need the gimmick, and I really don't need the slander. You don't think I don't hear all you talk about me, but really I hear all the banter. When you on the mission, and it's one like mine, to so try to make a positive influence. Then your whole mind, body, and soul need renewing, so please get to it. Tomorrow's not promised, let's do it. And then we start cleaning our closet. Let's clear out our conscience, dig deep down the farthest to reach out the darkness to figure out why we're so heartless. To get the root of the problem, because the root of the problem will be like negative comments, just straight up depressing. So what was the lesson? It's the pain and I'm flexing. Man, I've been where you are. I know what it's like. I fought through the battle. I got through the fight. Tons of scars, dozens of bruises. But if you keep it safe, you'll get through this. I've been where you are. I know what it's like. I fought through the battle. I got through the fight. Tons of scars, dozens of bruises. But if you keep it safe, you'll get through it. Like a fairy tale when I was growing up. Like a fairy tale when I was growing up. Like a fairy tale when I was growing up. I had something to believe. Amen. Now, I don't know, uh, Jade, what you uh, meant by that song, but for me, that song speaks of my life because I had I, I had to fight for everything in my life, and my father was abusive. Wow. I was sexually abused when I was young, so that song really does speak to my on how hard it really can be. But no matter what my life is like, I can always look forward to peace and happiness. Kim, what did you feel about that song? Yeah, I can relate. I think we've all gone through certain struggles and certain things we've done in our past and we want to look at we want to do better than we did in our past. We want to be the inspiration for this younger generation who really doesn't understand what they're going through this time. We need to be able to lift up and talk to them and explain to them those people out here that are going to be willing to help them and listen to them to understand them what they're going through because some of us have gone through some of the same things they have getting out there and letting them know that somebody cares about them. Mm-hmm. I really believe that. Most definitely. Most definitely. Pastor Leroy? Jade, i got to mm-hmm. say, I love your music there. And uh, New Jade, uh, I hope uh, I hope you become a fantastic artist, man. Thank you, thank you very much. Beautiful song. It is. It it, it really yeah. speaks to my heart. And, 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 and the other song that really does that for me is actually by Doctor, and it's called Abba Don't Cry. Yeah, and indeed. Oh, nice. It's it really amazing how when I'm down and I'm distraughted. And I listen to that song, and I'm thinking, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing to God? Why am I doing this? I've known Kim and Doctrine for 18, 18 years. Time. They've always seemed to come around uh, when I need them most. That's all inspired by God, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. We have a second song coming out. Do you mind sharing how and why that song and what it meant to you? See Me When is actually a good song because it's just like, you know, I want to be famous, but I don't. So it's just, it, it can mean in both cases, see me when good with money or see me when I get there. You know, mm-hmm. so it's, it's, it's a lot. Like I said, I come I come in a far place. I, I actually tend to the LGBT a lot. So, you know, I actually travel a lot. You know, I go state to state, and I just want the whole world to see me win. 
I, so, you know, I had a I had a messed up life, but I want to go to a better life. So I want to go from, you know, having this screwed up life to going to a better life by chance. And I got to believe in God to get there. So we're going to play your second song. So without further ado, see me win. <laughs> Spiritually, mentally, I'm still looking for a home Cause what makes no sense is me defining How I feel like I'm rising And at the same time I'm declining And it hurts so bad that I feel like that's where I live And I love everybody so I know how to forgive But when I make a promise, I promise not to renege I don't want anything I say to be argumentative But listen, things have gotten tougher with COVID But notice, at the end of the day, you're gonna notice a difference Every time I open my mouth, it's emotionally and risky But I'm still here, I'm fishing for hope I'm so sick Yesterday, I was feeling really down. God has a unique way of bringing people into our lives. Yesterday, I wasn't feeling like a winner. That song is now one of my go-to songs because it shows me that no matter what I'm going through, no matter how hard it is, I can always bend a knee and pray. What's that song say to you, Kim? Absolutely. We always have the opportunity to talk to our Lord and Savior. Every time we feel like we're in a situation we can't go through, we don't have anybody to talk to, we know he's always omnipresent, he's there. Even though it doesn't feel like it, sometimes we have to walk by our faith and not by what we see. And believe me, there are days that we sometimes struggle through it. Each and every one of us has gone through that struggle. We feel like the Lord is not hearing, not listening, because he's not on our time. He doesn't go by our time. The thoughts on our thoughts will know our ways of ways. A lot of us don't understand that. Amen. What's that song say to you, Pastor Leroy? You know, I, I really think that she's a phenomenal singer. Um, how, how many how many songs have you uh, sung so far, Jade? I've only done two by now. I really enjoy your music. Um, I'm going to download that myself and listen to it on several occasions, I believe. It just gives you inspiration, man. That's good to hear. That's really good to hear. It does. So 
I want to thank you on behalf of the panel for Kim, Pastor Leroy, Doctrine, and myself for allowing us to hear your life. And thank you for giving us the opportunity to share your walk with our audience. It, it was an honor meeting you, Jay, and I look forward to hear more of your music. And I am just mystified and awified on how many people you're going to help. You were saying that you've heard music that just draws people in. I can pretty much guarantee you that people are feeling down and distraughted. If you play that song to them, it's going to change them in many ways. I would hope so. I would hope so. <laughs> it speaks to the uh, it speaks to the heart. It speaks to the soul. Yes. And it's related to That's today. Good to hear. And That's good to hear. Some of the things you said in there were very evident in this day and age, and that people are going to connect those things that you said about disease and the COVID. And I want to thank you for gracing us with your presence. You're welcome here anytime. Uh, feel free. You have the number. Feel free to call in anytime. Absolutely. We need more sisters over here. We really do. Well, I'm going to get to work yeah. and make more new music soon, so listen out for me. Is there anything the panel okay. wants to say? Yeah, this is a doctrine. Uh, we got somebody named Susie in the chat who said that uh, same thing that you did, Candace, said that uh, I felt distraught until I heard that song. Amen. So apparently she Amen. wasn't having a That's good nice. night, but she heard, she heard See Me Win, yes, and it just brightened her day, too. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Yes. Oh, that's wow. crazy. And DC, too, that's crazy, said that that's beautiful. And, um, hey. I'm willing to do shows in any state, city, so that's what I'm looking forward to as well, to get my music heard everywhere. I'm going to share something with you here. In the States, uh, there's 86%. In Ireland, there's 6%. In Canada, 3%. In New Zealand, it's like 0.65 in New Zealand and 0.58 in uh, Japan. So, if you wanted to be heard worldwide, you just got your answer right there. <laughs> wow, nice. That's great. That is great. That is beautiful. That made me feel great today. I think I'm going to have a good God bless day today because actually I have a show soon. So, you know, I put my time into God, which is you guys, you know, so that makes me feel uplifted for today in my show. No matter how it goes, mm -hmm. no matter how it ends up. I know God's going to have me at the end of the day with it, you know, Amen. no downtime no more. I don't like to be down no more. I like to keep myself up positive, you know, drug-free, drink-free. I don't do none of that, you know, so I'm on a good page right now. So hopefully my show, wish me luck, that my show goes good today. Well, before you go, um, we're going to have a prayer with you. Father, I pray that as these musical notes go out, that they will touch hearts, inspire spirits, and uplift people as they did here. As Jade goes forth, I, play, I pray that thou might bless her ministry, that it may go forth and touch the masses, that they will know that there is a better place and a better way to live. And as she reaches the masses, I pray that those people will tell people that will tell people and her Amen. word and her music will go viral and she will be yes. on a Christian top seller list as you've done for many rock and roll Amen. over the years. Thank you for bringing her here. I pray right now a blessing upon her life that you will comfort her in her times of need and keep her safe in times of trouble and tribulation. And we put a blessing upon her from this ministry for being here and gracing us with her presence. Thank you, Lord, for blessing her with a gifted voice. Continue to inspire others to share her love with others. And we say these things in Yeshua's precious name. Amen. Thank you. God bless everyone. And everyone. Well, that was a very good show. And yes, thank indeed. you uh, for those in chat who have 
been great and gentle and kind. Thank you very much. Is there anything you want to say, Kim or Pastor Leroy? Well, you know what? I really appreciate her coming on tonight. I really do. Uh, I just wish you the best, and I hope that uh, I hope we hear from her again. And I want to thank uh, Doctrine for putting this together tonight. And you, Pastor Kent, was a great show. And I just mm-hmm. hope uh, tomorrow is going to be just as good. God says in his words, where there's two or more gathered in my name, there I am in the midst. Yeah, I'm in the midst. Yes, indeed. Amen. So I want to thank everybody for being here, our guests, uh, New Jade. Thank you very much, very, very much. Uh, Pastor uh, Levi for hosting, Doctrine for keeping the back channel safe, and also uh, for our gracious Kim, who graces us with her presence on the weekend. Again, tomorrow night, same back channel, same back time, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you there, be square. God bless you all. How could you not want to see me win? The shame that you done lost me. I'm so sick and tired of being so sick and tired And my so-called friends are turning out to be liars And every time I trust somebody, it comes out to haunt me And every time I meet in my poker face, keep me frosty You know you wrong, but I won't mention no names And if I see you again, it'd probably just be the same you Know what I mean? The real type of pain is when you showing some love When all you receiving is hate But that's okay, cause that's the end of the day, we have our faith, but can't you change your heart for heaven's sake, like for real though, why do you want to make me feel low, it's got me jaded, where you think I got my name, yo, I'm going through the motions each and every day, but I'm going to be the bigger person, just straight up, just let it go, cause I refuse to continue and let you starve in my heart and soul, the kind of feelings I'm feeling you would never know, how could you not want to see me win, the shame that you done lost me, I've been way too much time sitting here reminiscing Think about everything in detail and it's got me pissing I know a couple people that's erupt in my corner And when it comes to happiness I feel like I'm a foreigner I'm not alone I know I'm not alone spiritually, mentally I'm still looking for a home Cause what makes no sense is me defining How I feel like I'm rising and at the same time I'm declining And it hurts so bad that I feel like that's where I live And I love everybody so I know how to forgive But when I make a promise I promise not to renege I don't want anything I say to be argumentative But listen, things have gotten tougher with COVID But notice, at the end of the day you're gonna notice a difference Every time I open my mouth it's emotionally and risky But I'm still there, I'm fishing for hope I'm so